in the end, I decided that she had the qualifications, the experience, and the credentials that we require of a Supreme Court justice and warranted my support. In your statement, you said that there were some things you agree with her on, some things that you don't. In terms of the clarification you were seeking, what exactly did you ask her to clarify? We had an in-depth discussion of many of the cases that were brought up at the hearings, and she explained in more detail her careful, thoughtful reasoning. I didn't always agree with the results that she came up with, but I had no doubt that she applies a very careful approach to the facts of a case uh, when she is judging. Why did you decide to come out with your decision today ahead of the vote? Well, the hearings have been completed, and I said from the start that I wanted to make sure that I listened to the hearings, because you never know what issues are going to come up. And indeed, uh, there were issues that were raised. And then yesterday, I had another hour-long one-on-one meeting with her. And at this point, I felt I had all the information that I needed to reach a decision. Thank you guys so much. Republican leadership ahead of your announcement today? I uh, informed the Republican leaders this morning, so I did give them a little advance heads up, but not not a lot. Do you expect any of your other Republican colleagues to follow suit, and are you talking to any of them? I have no idea what my other Republican colleagues will do. I have had discussions with some of them, but obviously that's an individual decision and one that only they can make. So I've not attempted to pressure anybody to uh, come out in the same reach the same decision that I have reached, and uh, you'll just have to ask them where they are. Thank, Thank you.